Okay, let me explain to you guys how this deck works. So, Slifer the Sky Dragon requires three tributes to be normal summoned, and has an effect where he gains a thousand attack and defense for every card in your hand, and also destroys cards that are summoned if they have less than 2,000 attack in attack position. So, Ojamas have this card called Ojama Magic, which, if it's sent to the graveyard, it allows you to add three cards from your deck to your hand. It's like Block Dragon's effect. So, uh, they also have... Ojama Duo, what special summons two cards from your deck, which still means you need to get one card on the field. <laughs> Maybe I should play that one card. Maybe I should play Soul Crossing in this deck. Where would I even put it though? Dual Logs, no way, Mr. Logs, you have arrived. Baron Engine with Scythe is busted. Does anyone here know another god deck? I only know Ojamas, the one with Raw Disciples, and the ones with the Knights. Oh yeah, there's also the Knights, huh? King's Knights Engine. That's a good one. That's much better than this. Soul Crossing rarely ever comes up, but I do like it. I'll play one Soul Crossing. Now pay close attention to that ham, because it's not the last time you're going to see that ham in the story. And remove, um... Oh wait, wasn't there a better Melfi card? Wasn't Melfi Cat technically better? How do you spell Melfi? Return this card to your hand, then add a beast monster from your deck to your hand, except Melfi Cat during your end phase. Yeah, Melfi Cat's technically better than Pony. I know what, Pony special summons itself though, right? During your end phase, special summon this card. I'm pretty sure this one does it too. Nope, Pony special summons itself. No rescue cat? What do I need rescue cat for? Uh, I'm just trying to think of one card to get rid of for this uh, Ojama party. Sure, whatever. We'll go with this. So last time I played this deck, I won 100% of my games 80% of the time. What You're not even making sense! So I'm sure I'll also win that many times too. Make Slifer really good in it. So yeah, Slifer is really good in this deck. Because I get to draw a whole bunch of cards. Second, just setting something up over here. Am I going first? Excellent going first card. Oh, must have been a bot. Really, the person named Kira is a bot? You know, there's a lot of people I go against who don't play 13 cards. I play at the full 15. Yeah, 100% win rate so far. I was so excited it made you win in first turn. <laughs> Just admit that Ojamas are good. I want to hear you say it. Ojamas are good. You know, it's funny. I remember one time there was a guy who came into chat on YouTube. And he was like, uh, under the assumption that I hated gimmick cards. Or that I, I actually hated, like, you know, low power level cards. He came in and he just knew this was a fact in his head and then started arguing with me based on this assumption that he had created of me. And I was like, whoa, dude, I think you have a fundamental misunderstanding about how I play this game. All I ever do is play funny cards. You don't try hard? No. And like the dude came into chat and he was just like not having it. He was arguing from a position that I didn't hold. And he was basically super upset that I had like said one of his favorite cards was bad in the video because it probably was bad. <laughs> like one of my favorite archetypes is Spriggans, but I'm not gonna pretend they're good. I like Spriggans. I think they could be good if they just get like a little bit more support, but currently they're they're not very good, but they can pull off some fun combos. Hmm, if I was playing Wagon, I could just, wait. Actually, I can just use Elder and Tignatis to destroy that. Wow, skill drain? Activate Natis from the grave? Yeah, I'll use Natis from the grave to destroy uh, the floodgate. I'd like to destroy circle, but I think the floodgate's probably better. Oh no, is he gonna quit because he saw Natis go to the grave? Oh my god, what? <laughs> That's two wins! 100% win rate! What happened to your worm deck? Oh, it's I have it saved. I just constantly delete decks so that I have room to make new ones. As not you, I'm the most qualified to tell you. Yeah, basically, it's like, if I say a card is bad in a video, it's probably because it is bad. But that doesn't mean I won't play it. And the reason the card is bad is because, have you seen the good cards in this game? They're broken! Like, the best archetypes in this game are just straight up. If you want to just see how unfair the game is, just read the Eldritch cards one of these days. A single Eldritch card just constantly gains advantage through gaining advantage through gaining advantage, and they just don't stop. Hmm, I can't really do anything with this hand. I'll set that, set that, activate Melfi Hide and Seek for no reason, and hope he doesn't have Harpy's Feather Duster. Will you play Ice Barriers? Haven't I already? Oh, I guess I haven't done it on Master Duel yet. I should play Ice Barriers. Someone remind me to play Ice Barriers. Actually, I'll just write that down. I'll write it down. I'll say, uh, play ice barriers. Okay. <gasps> I really hope he brings out a third card so I can use Soul Crossing. 
but I'm pretty sure he's going to go into a summon first. Raid Raptor Nest. If you control two more Raid Raptor monsters, add a Raid Raptor monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Oh, I didn't know it was in the graveyard, too. That's really good, actually. I thought it was just the deck. Can you make charmers good? Of course I can. See, the way you make a card good, make a deck good, is just to throw in a really overpowered engine into it. <gasps> a third card on the field. That's Slifer. Soul Crossing. See? There's that ham again. Slifer. One, two, three. <laughs> now he has to summon all of his cards in defense position or lose them. Oh, he actually passed. Ojama Country. Uh, okay, I, I, I can't actually use this, so... We'll just attack with 2,000 points of unbeatable damage. Whoa, I can't believe I tributed all of his cards. See, I'll be playing one of the only decks in the game which gets three cards on the field without a, uh, a negate. <gasps> he summoned it in attack position? Does he not know how Slifer works? So, the way Slifer works, for those of you who don't know, is if a monster is summoned in attack position, they lose 2,000 attack. And if their attack is brought to zero, then they're destroyed. So the way to go around Slifer is to summon your cards in defense position. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Slifer actually won me the game. Oh my god, if this goes on the clip channel, that'll just be the title. Slifer actually won me the game? Question mark, because the card's kind of not bad. It's, it's, a, it's a good card. On YouTube? I mean, we are on YouTube right now, though. Oh, I thought Slifer lost the attack points. No, my opponent loses the attack points. Man, I can't believe how broken Slifer is. How is this card legal with three copies and no one plays it? 